being on TV is not fun. No part of it is fun. And, it might, and it, that's not just because I'm a cynic, right? Well, but, and, and I can see uh, you looking at me skeptically, but it's not. And I could I could share a few stories on the on on why it's not fun because I've been on I've been on TV. This is not a brag. It's it's nothing cool to be on TV. Bragging. But I've, been, I've probably been on TV. I don't know, maybe ten t- between six and ten times. I don't really keep count. And some some elements of the experience are sometimes fun, but by and large, it's not fun, right? And the thing about how TV works, I think. From my perspective, anyways. Oh man, how I could talk about this all day, but my issue with I think TV production is that you, very rarely will they ever try and pay. We 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 know this site. Like, if you talk about even that as an example, you talked about Steph's packed lunch. I yeah. remember the first time they approached me, and you you're not trying to extort people, right? You're just saying like, if you want me to be on the show and contribute in some way, the lighting guy's not he's he's not doing it for free. The the sound guy, the producer, whatever. If you want me to be on the show, I'm, I'm requesting that you pay me. And if you don't want to pay me, that's fine. I won't be part of the show. But it's, it's so often the case that you, people approach you and say, do you want to be part of the show? It'd be great exposure for you. Yeah, yeah. Which at a certain level, it, that, that appeals to people. Maybe you're just getting started out in a career doing something, whether it's, I don't know, something creative like YouTube or something like uh, maybe they're a stand-up comic or they're a sports person, you know, they just get started in the world. I get it, right? But- Exposure is not payment if you're contributing to a to a show which is earning money, and that's my that's my big problem with it. And it's always the case with TV, as as so many other things in life, that they're not prepared to pay for you as a contributor, right? <laughs> and I think the, the biggest problem with that is it's not it's not a pleasant experience to be on TV. You're, okay, you get to say, "Hey, I'm on TV tonight, mum," you know, <laughs> right? And that might be fun for the first time, but there's, there's not, the the experience itself is especially for like me. You come from a position where you create your own video yeah where if, if i'm if i'm shooting something i'm the talent as they would call it in the in the tv business i'm the guy's uh, camera facing but i'm also the guy that shoots i'm the guy that does the sound design the edit the any annotations that go in there the script not that i have a script on my videos but any kind of daft gags that i might want to get in i i plan how it goes right and i control the content and i reap the rewards of the content right if you're if you're on tv not only are you directed to do things like, oh, can we do that take again? Can you be a bit more enthusiastic when you say that? And stuff like that. They control the edit, which means they can make you look. And there's a famous Simpsons episode where they make where they talk about, they don't really talk about it, but they uh, they show like a, a fictional documentary where they make groundskeeper Willie out to be like a sex pest or something. <laughs> um, because, but they've clipped a bunch of things that he said together without context. So it's the same with TV. So I think, I always think if I'm going to be on TV, there, there are circumstances where I would do it for free. If somebody asked me to go on Soccer AM, I'm there, man. Because obviously I watched that show when I was a kid yep. and it'd be a laugh to be on it, I think. But there are other things where I know that this TV show is made for profit and I don't want to be on it because they're probably going to make me out to be an idiot, which is fine with me. But if you're going to make me out to be an idiot, I'm getting paid for it. Yeah, basically. yeah, pay the bills. It's funny you said that. I mean, I think we mentioned it on a previous podcast, but the whole like, uh, we keep digging them out, but the, the packed lunch thing, like it's a live show that goes on every day. And we've both been approached to do it. Admittedly, you should get paid. Maybe I shouldn't get paid, but I do believe that everyone should be getting at least a time covered. But when they said to me, oh no, no, we don't pay. We just cover expenses. And I thought, all right, that can be manipulated. MPs do it. I can do it. My time is worth for four hours. Let's say it's worth hundred quid. And then I'll park in Leeds. That's going to be 20 quid. And then I'll, I'll buy some lunch because... I don't think they give you a packed lunch while you're there. <laughs> <laughs> so, the irony. Um, and it's like, no, no, no. It's a flat rate of 20 pounds. And I was like, pardonnez-moi. I was like, it literally costs more than that to park in Leeds for the day. Not to mention with diesel prices now to get into Leeds. I was like, do people actually do it. People are signing up for this shit. But the thing is, I think that appeals to the sense that people want their 15 minutes of fame. And I'm not, I'm not criticizing anyone. If you want to be on TV, I remember when I was a kid and I'm, I remember my grandma being on TV. The weirdest thing is they were, they were interviewing people about the general election. It was the one where John Major was elected. So I, I, I don't know how long ago that was. That would be in the 90s, right? Um, and she was on TV and my grandma's just a head case. And she <laughs> said, for some reason, despite, well, I don't want to get into politics, but she said that she liked, they said, oh, do, do you want John Major to be, this was on local, like calendar or look north or a local news channel. And, 
the the guy asks, he's like, uh, do you want John Major to be uh, prime minister? She's like, oh yeah, because he's lovely and cuddly. And like, <laughs> she, no <laughs> but I remember it's like we, we she, that happened, and she told everyone. So we, she was like, oh, they said it's going to be on like Look North or Calendar tonight, and the family gathers around and say, oh look, Grandma's, on, she, you know, she's on TV, and there's some kind of prestige about being on TV. It's a bit like but, radio, actually. You just reminded me because like I've been interviewed on radio before, and um, again, family were like, oh, we'll, we'll listen, we'll tune in. You know, I'll yeah. listen to your interview. I'm like, in fact, it was like, that's when I got interviewed on was when we shot the um, garlic, garlic bread on it. Garlic was bread. So remember, because I had to stop shooting because I had to go oh, into yeah, another yeah, room yeah. And, and do the interview. Do remember, yeah. And they, like the family were like, oh, we listened and it was amazing. I'm like, fucking hell, I do like, especially now I do that much stuff online. I do podcasts. I'm like, no one, like family don't listen to the yeah, podcast. Something about like radio. And I dare, like I, I'd probably put my life on that more people listen to this than the radio interview that yeah. we're on BBC Leeds at. That's the thing as well. At 2pm in after, you know, like no one's listening to that. Yeah. It's, and as, like radio, TV, I don't want to say it's a dying medium, but it's far less popular. It's less how young people consume content yeah. these days than it ever was in the past. But I think still people like the idea of just being on TV, don't they? Like there's something about being on TV. Oh, I want to be famous, which I don't really understand. I've never understood this kind of, uh, this kind of clamor for, for like fame for no reason, right? For me, fame should come as a result of something you give the world, whether it's like, something meaningful like i don't know einstein theory of relativity yeah. or if something creative like a bob dylan or you, you write a book i don't know jk rowling even or anyone like that um you, you you're known because you you've done something right which means something to someone whereas these days i think especially because of reality tv people want to be famous for the sake of being famous yeah. you just always get on that like i used to hate that show x factor probably because i like music and that's like that antithesis to what music should be but you'd always get them on you'd never get anyone coming on the be like, what does this mean to you They'd never say, oh, I'd really love to get a recording contract and put together 10 albums, win some Grammys and perform perform live to people. It would always be, oh, it means everything for me to be famous and be known in every house. Like, why? Why do you want to be fucking known by people? I don't understand it. And that's why I think TV production companies rely upon, because the amount of times they contact me and say, do you want to be on the show? It'd be great exposure for you. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything for me to be exposed. No. In that way. Yeah. There's, um, like, there's nothing to back it up. It's, yeah. We've put it into context before, I guess when we said about people with YouTube channels then collaborating to think that that audience will then transfer over and you will... Prime example, I do a podcast with a hairy little fella with 1.7 million subscribers. <laughs> right? in, in, in the description of this podcast, there's a link to every social platform of mine. Worst case scenario, let's say that 20% of your audience might go subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, categorically <laughs> doesn't happen and because like fame by so you've you've rightfully found your place and your follower count and your area in the world by being talented in one area grinding your dick off for seven years it's true <laughs> grinding my dick off it's true isn't it so like that's the reason people follow you yeah. like there's no reason for your audience to ever follow me like yeah. it just don't make sense because we're comp it's completely different yeah. worlds like i make like videos and shit which is like pretty niche been known for making videos about Video how to make videos. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. you feeling okay? Too many, too many coffee, too, too much many coffee. coffee. Um, too many coffee, too much coffee. But yeah, and it's the same like going on telly. Like you go on telly once, you could scream at the the, the cameraman. My Instagram handle is blah blah blah. No one's checking that. Like no one's going out. Like it's gonna be a slog to even get some followers from whatever you. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and the only thing, the thing with with my experience of being on TV and I've done like pr prime time a lot of times, you know, like I've been on prime time TV probably like four times at least. So by that, I mean, you know, to, when peak watch, but most people are watching TV. It's not yeah. Steph's packed lunch, you know, which nobody's watching. We're never getting invited on this show. I don't, I don't care. I don't want to go on it. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm sure I've never watched it actually. I'm sure it's a great show and whatnot. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, the, the, if you go on, um, I don't know where I was going with that. Prime time. You saying you've been yeah, on prime sorry, time? Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. So I've been on prime time, uh, prime time a few, a few times. So you would think that maybe, maybe there will be some transfer. So if somebody sees me doing some eating something, or, or whatever it might be, they might think a, a small, like you say, a small portion. Maybe even if it's one percent of whatever eight million people watch, you might think oh, I'm going to go look at that channel. It never works that way because that, that audience is not interested in what you do. They're yeah. there to be entertained at that point in time because they're watching live TV. They're probably older in terms of the demographic. And because of that, there's not, there's not going to be any transfer, right? So you, this exposure, this phantom exposure people talk about, 
it doesn't it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't transfer to what makes me a living essentially. And not only that, what interaction you do get is almost always negative, especially if it's something that something the like of which I do. If you if you're on there and, and you do something, people aren't going to re- necessarily react to negatively. All right, you might be fine. But the only thing I, I add, if if a, if a TV production company approaches me to be on TV, in my mind I'll add a premium because I know I'm going to get you know, insults, death threats or whatever for, for what I'm doing from complete strangers because they're not the people that I appeal to, you know, it's not my audience. Yeah.